it's not going to be an outright ban, right? It's not going to be like, okay, tomorrow no one's allowed to you know, have a Bitcoin wallet on their phones. It's going to be a slow creep of like overcompliance of like, you know, like, okay, if you, if you want to use an unhosted wallet, you need to fill in this form and you need to tell us this and you need to tell us that and like slowly making it inconvenient for companies and individuals. And that's what happened effectively in Cuba. Like, you know, like it's not illegal to send money to a Cuban citizen, you know? But because it's, you know, like, you know, the, 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 if you're a company, you've got regulatory risk, you do the math, what's the burden of complying versus just shutting off the entire country? And if you don't really care, you just shut out, you know, you shut down the entire ge geography because, you know, that, that's it. That's, that's what the math works out to be. That's the, where your profit is. But if you really care about it, if, you, you know, if your ethics are in the right place and you say, okay, I care about, you know, financial freedom, then you know you have to take these risks and, and you have to look exactly what the law says and, and you know fit in within it i just want to Yes. This over there, yes, the jukebox. That's the jukebox. That's the jukebox. That's the jukebox. That's the jukebox.